We are here in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland in the beautiful model home provided by Kane Homes. Bass Rack Outdoors and Coco Garden have teamed up to teach America how to compost crab shell waste and food waste. Every day, Americans throw away thousands of tons of waste and you would assume it's organic, but it goes into bags just like this. The problem with this is these bags prevent it from decomposing properly. We can unlock the true potential of this waste by composting with coconut husk fiber. Coconut husk fiber is a completely natural renewable resource that helps us compost food waste using convenient composters just like this. Hey, so you just got done having a fun morning with the kids out there crabbing on the Chesapeake Bay. You got home, you had a, a great feast with family and friends. Now what do you do with the leftover shells? We typically will ball them up in the newspaper and just throw them away, right? But the idea is we want to compost them with cocoa guard and cocoa fiber. So it's a, a few basic steps to prep them to go right into the composter. Follow me over here and I'll show you how it's done. So now all we need to do is just a few simple steps. First we have to get the excess seasoning off because that salt is what could be potentially harmful for your plants. So the next step, you can have fun with the kids or you can do it yourself here. All you'd have to do is simply break them up into a little bit finer components so you can actually get ready for mixing with your cocoa fiber. The goal here is to make it as small as possible to speed up the composting process so you can extract those vitamins and minerals from the crab shell. So now that we've successfully mashed up our crab shells, we're ready to start composting. All right, so you got your crab shells ready. You're ready to compost. You got one more step left. So before we can take these shells and turn them into beautiful organic fertilizer, we're gonna use cocoa fiber to help accelerate the process and create a premium growing medium. So what is cocoa fiber? You take a husk of a coconut shell, the long fibers we see as liners and doormats. In between that, it's a cork-like material. It actually keeps the coconut buoyant so it can travel in the ocean till it lands to its final destination to grow. This material was discovered by the Dutch over 100 years ago, and it can be used as a premium growing medium. The convenient part of this coconut husk fiber is it's a waste product that's being recycled. We can also compress it into a brick. So this bowl is compressed into a brick this size. All you need to do is drop it in a bucket or a bowl of water and watch it expand. So you got your cocoa fiber ready, now you're ready to compost. What we have here today is a convenient plastic compost caddy. In the top, you got a carbon filter. Most families don't like compost because of the odor, so using cocoa and a carbon filter will help control all the excess odor. If you like something a little more aesthetically pleasing, we've got a stainless steel compost crock and a ceramic compost crock. So you got the crabs, you got the cocoa, let's start composting. So you pop the top, sprinkle a layer of crab shells, and then take two handfuls of cocoa fiber and just cover the crab shells till you don't see them anymore. And then you're gonna keep doing this layers of cocoa and crab shells until you, get, you fill up the bin. So, you use the cocoa fiber from the brick, which is convenient and economical. But in everyday lives, we know we're busy. So we have a new convenient product, which is a cocoa fiber pellets. And for these, they're dry. All you have to do is open up your compost crock or caddy and add your shellfish waste or your food waste and then break up the pellet by hand easily until you cover the food waste. These pellets can be conveniently stored under your sink and cabinet 
just like the pods we use for our dishwasher. So you've got your compost caddy full. Why'd you use cocoa fiber is the real question. The reason we use the cocoa fiber is because it's like a natural sponge and it's a carbon source. So whenever you compost, you've got rich organic nitrogen rich matter like crab shells and vegetables. But you need a carbon source. So for every one part of shellfish waste or food waste, you need two parts of cocoa fiber. The cocoa fiber will absorb the excess moisture which causes the odor and also attracts pests. And then it'll also prepare it. So once you're ready, you take the cocoa fiber and you can transfer it to a compost pile, a compost tumbler, or to an electric composter, which is indoors. So today, we learned how to take crab shells and food waste and use cocoa fiber to create a premium compost organic fertilizer for your lawn, garden, and your vegetables. And for more fun tips on how to protect the land and sea, visit CocoaGardenOnline.com and BassRackOutdoors.com for fun and the great outdoors. Have a good day.